Hey guys, what's up? We're back here with one more video, and today I'm gonna go get a new truck. Found one for a good price on Marketplace. It's an F350, single rear wheel, 2021 model. So it's newer. <clears throat> I got the Jeep, or the XJ, and the trailer. And we're gonna go look at it. The reason I'm bringing the trailer is because if I buy it, so I can put the XJ on the trailer and then pull it back to the truck. But it says it has a towing package. Um, 2021 four door long bed. So she big. Um, it's got a drop hitch, and it's like other than that, pretty much bone stock. And we're going to forget that happened. And it says it's right, yep, there it is. So, I'm going to pull into here. Just let traffic go by. But here it is. Um, it's an FX4. Um, <clears throat> It's a Lariat, or not Lariat, it's an XLT with a, a painted bumper, um, which it looks pretty good. I like it. Um, don't see really any dents and dings. It is the aluminum body. It's got that painted back bumper. I don't know if that's factory or not. Factory or not. Um, there's a little ding right there, but it's, it's not bad. It does look like they trimmed the bumper a little bit, so it might have, it looks like it has a little bit bigger wheels on it. But yeah, I'm most likely going to go home with this. Oh, come on, you can go past that. Oh, well, I'm just going to... Tell the guy I want it. Hey, uh, yeah, you selling that? Yeah, I'm interested. The ad said you wanted, um, mm, 20, right? I'll give you eighteen five and take it off your hands right now. Nineteen? Nineteen works for me. All right. Yeah. All right. Yep, right there, right. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go grab the cash out of the car. All right, guys, so I just bought it. I'm going to grab the cash here out of the glove box. So I figured I was going to buy it, but I just brought the 25 because I didn't know if I can work them down. All right, here's the cash. Um, yeah, so I'll just take it off your hands right now. All right, sounds good. All right, all right, see you. All right, so... Really nice guy, you know. Got that Indiana hosp hospitality. I'm gonna get that lowered and get the XJ loaded up. Which I don't know what I'm gonna do with the XJ now. I mean, I might.
might drive it every now and then, but I don't know. I might sell it. <clears throat> but I probably won't sell it just because we might need another vehicle and I don't really want to do a drift to 75. But, but you know, springtime. I don't really need another truck right now, but if I get a seed tender, I will. But yeah, it looks, the interior is super clean on this truck. It's like a dark brown with some black accents. And there's some tan, like that's tan. Which has that drop hitch on it, which is a uh, pretty good height. You got a full tank too. It's pretty nice that he left us with a full tank. <clears throat> but yeah, alright, let's get this thing back to the farm. Fine, I know him. From when I worked at the ethanol plant. And I also went to school with him. Pretty sure this is an adjustable hitch, too. Which, he said I have everything in the truck when I emailed him. Or texted him. Now I have two six sevens, twenty ten and twenty twenty one. Which this truck is amazing. I'm already happy with my purchase. Which I'm pretty sure that's the same guy that I bought the twenty ten from. So he just he must just love F three fifties. But I bought the F-350 used slash new because the guy I bought it from bought it straight from the dealership, realized he didn't want it. Then I bought it, put a flatbed on it because the bed was already crumpled. Because apparently something happened when they were unloading it at the dealership. I don't know. But yeah, the bed was all dinged up, so I just put a flatbed on it. And now it's loaded down with seed. And I think I can plant. But I need to get um started on tillage first. So, hop in the 8760, <clears throat> start it up, fold up the cultivator, because I just got done putting some sweeps I need to replace on it, and greasing it. It should work better than that plow I was using. Which this tractor might be a little overkill for this, but it's fine. I bought it for a tillage tractor, so. <clears throat> Put 
with that soybean field that I have, I'm going to do no-till on. Just because why not? But the sorghum field I'm going to have to rip up, as well as the corn field. <clears throat> because the corn field still has some corn in it, I don't want to... I don't want to no-till corn stalks with that planter because that's a really nice planter, so. Or at least not with the setup on it that I have on it right now. Which is not really set up for no-till, but it'll be fun. Which I plowed a little bit of this field, so that's why it's like Kind of there, kind of not, you know? Drop her down. going here with the cultivator now there is lime on this field but that where there's no stubble was plowed so I can just plant right into that <clears throat> But yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and see y'all next time. This was a little bit of a short video, but... Uh, see you guys next time.